Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's video I'm going to talk about septic tank size. So what size septic tank do you need? How do you know it's going to be legal and, and big enough to cater for the number of people that are going to live in your house? All right, so let's get straight into this. Okay, so basically everything's based on British water, British, uh, British water, flows, uh, water flows and loads. Okay, so that's number one. And secondly, the, um, the figures are based on section H of building regs. All right, so in building regs and British water, they state there that before you even start, right, before you even build one bedroom or one person lives there, you've got to start with 2,000 litres. All right, so your tank has got to have a 2,000 litre capacity before you start even working out the size of your septic tank. Why? Because it's for dilution rate. There's a lot of ammonia and acids and cleaning products and other things that go into the wastewater in a septic tank. So it needs to have a dilution, All right? So if I put under there for dilution. All right, so, so, okay, so you've got your, you've got your basis now, 2,000 litres, so you've got to start on that. So how do you work out the size of your septic tank for the house that you're buying? All right, so it's based now on the number of bedrooms, all right? Forget the number of people, right? You could, okay, you, you, you know, it just doesn't work like that. You see on the internet lots of adverts for four-person septic tank, six-person septic tank. That's okay, it is for the number of people, but it goes on the number of bedrooms primarily, all right? So let me explain what I mean, right? So it's, you work with bedrooms and you work out the number of people. So let me explain. So the government calculator for working out tells you that you have to allow, all right, you have to allow 1.3 pe pe people per bedroom. That's 1.3 people per bedroom. So let's just start and make this really easy, right? So let's say you're putting in a one bed. Let's say you've got, uh, well, in fact, there's not many one beds. Let's start with a two bed. Let's say you've got a two bedroomed house, right? Now this could be a new house. You could be replacing your old system, whatever, right? So you've got a, you've got a two bedroom property, right? And so there's two bedrooms there. So 1.3 plus 1.3 is 2.6. I Don't ask me where they get the 0.3 or the 0.6 from. I don't know, right? So two bedrooms is going to be 3.6, right? Right. Uh, and then you'd round that up, up to the nearest person. So basically, that would be four people, all right? That would be four people living, according to the government, in that house. So we got the bedrooms, and by the bedrooms, you can then work out the number of people, all right? So, we then need to get our calculator here because British Water states that in a domestic property, a normal, normal domestic property, we're not on about hotels or, um, you know, B&Bs or anything like that, or, or work units, we're on about just a standard domestic house where you and me live 24-7, right? Now, they say you are to allow anywhere from 150 to 200 litres, right, per day, per day, per person. All right, so if I get my calculator here, so I'm gonna err on the side of caution here, right? I'm gonna go for 200 liters. So we've got four people, four times 200 equals 800 liters, there you go. So if we take our figure here of 2,000, right? So we've got 2,000 plus 200 liters per person. So there's four people, 200 times four is 800. So we would need a minimum of a 2,800 litre septic tank. So most septic tanks now uh, start at 3,000 litres, but the point is you've now got a basis and um, a formula there to help you work out the size of the septic tank that you need for the number of bedrooms that you have. So there you go. I hope that's helped you, that video today. If you'd like more free help and advice, then just go to septictank.co.uk. I'll say that again, septictank.co.uk. 
see loads of free videos there to do with septic tanks and soakaways and tre sewage treatment plants. Or, right, you can go to, onto Google and type in septic tank TV. There it'll bring up my YouTube channel, my septic tank TV channel. And uh, if you subscribe, you'll get a chance to win a free soakaway kit. So there you go. That's not bad, is it? All right. So listen, thank you very much for watching this video today. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.